morning everybody today we shall consider the process or the method for finding a particular solution to a differential equation so the equa the question is find a particular solution that satisfies the initial conditions for the following questions see what is initial condition in the first problem y dash equal to x e raised to x when y equal to 3 whenever y is 3 y dash equal to x e raised to x provided when x equal to 1 the position of y is 3 we denote such a statement like this also y of 1 equal to 3 so whenever you see such an expression you must understand that the value of y when x equal to 1 is 3 now this equation is dy by dx equal to x e raised to x so dy is x e raised to x dx then solution means finding uh, integrating out both sides uh, LHS with respect to y and RHS with respect to x and we put the constant of integration or the arbitrary constant here then integrating uh, for this part uh, we need integration by parts by integration by parts you take x as the first function, e raised to x as the second function. So, first function x into e raised to x minus integral differential of x1 into e raised to x dx. So, it is x e raised to x minus e raised to x plus c. So, I concluded it as y is equal to e raised to x into x minus 1 plus c. Now this is the general solution. But we are asked to find out particular solution. We are provided with the initial condition. With an initial condition. So when x equal to 1, what is the value of y? y is 3. So from the equation number 1, substitute 3 for y and 1 for x you put 1 so e into 1 minus 1 that means c is equal to 3 so the particular solution under this condition is y is equal to e raised to x into x minus 1 plus 3 now go to the second problem y dash equal to ln of x what is the initial condition? y equal to 0 when x equal to e. So, as in the uh, last problem, dy is equal to ln of x dx. Integral dy is integral ln of x plus c. y is equal to ln of x. Here also, we need integration by parts. So, we take 1 as the first function ln of sorry i mean ln of x as the first function and 1 as the second function so ln of x first function into integral of second function 1 that is x minus differential of ln of x integral of 1 differential of ln of x 1 by x into dif, integral of 1 x dx plus c so x get cancelled uh, we get x sine x minus x plus c so what is the initial condition y of e equal to 0 what is its meaning when e equal when x equal to e value of y is 0 that implies 0 equal to e ln of e minus e plus c ln of e means the power of e that is 1 so e into 1 e minus e plus 1 so answer c is 0 
So the particular solution for this problem is y is equal to x ln of x from this uh, expression we we are arriving at the particular solution for su uh, substituting the value of c here so y is x sin x minus x so the answer is x into ln of x minus y i have given you some problems as homework and do all the problems and submit it tomorrow then another question from your exercise 1.2 show that the function y equal to e raised to x square integral 0 to x e raised to minus t square dt is a solution to the differential equation y dash equal to Integ a two x e and two x y plus one. So from the question value of y is e raised to x square into integral zero to x e raised to minus t square dt. Uh, I hope you remember this expression while you are going through. The calculation of arc length you met with such a situation so uh, this is the fundamental theorem of integral calculus first form by this integral 0 to x e raised to minus t square dt is e raised to minus x square e raised to minus x square the value of this this thing this integral implies so this one this expression implies dy by dx equal to d by dx of this part e raised to x square 0 to uh, integral 0 to x e raised to minus t square dt which is equal to first function into Differential of the second function plus second function into differential of the first function. So e raised to x square into by the fundamental theorem of integral calculus first uh, first theorem it is e raised to minus x square minus integral. zero to x e raised to minus t square dt into e raised to minus x square e raised to minus x here is a minus here minus x square that is equal to e raised to this part e raised to x square then integral of this part e raised to minus x square minus integral 0 to x e raised to minus t square into differential of this part is 2x e raised to x square which implies y dy by dx is y dash equal to here it is 1 then what is the value of this bracket from the question it is y so we put e, uh, the, uh, including this one it is 1 um, sorry i mean y so 2 2x here also 2x and these two parts combine together to form y so answer is y dash equal to y minus 2xy hence the result So we shall go to the next section 1.3 variable equations so sorry i mean separable equations a d of the form or which can be converted to the form m of x dx 
plus n of y dy equal to 0 is separable. One thing is very important while you studying differential equation, you must be thorough, you must have a thorough knowledge about, thorough understanding about the structure and the name of the equation. You must combine these two facts the name of the equa differential equation and the structure of the differential equation. What is the structure here? The, with the dx, there, there should be function of x only. With the dy, the coefficient should be function of y only. So, we can, sometimes it is not uh, like in the question, but you can make the question like this then we say that such an equation is, sep is a separable equation. So, we shall go to the problems. Now, y, da y dash plus y tan x equal to 0. That means dy by dx plus y tan x equal to 0. That means we are separating x and y variables together with dx and dy respectively. So, you, here is a dy. When you divide throughout by y, it becomes dy by y. Then you multiply dx with the, the whole thing. We will get tan x dx. Plus is here equal to 0. Very simple. It, uh, uh, we get the solution by integrating out this expression. This is automatically ln of y and this is ln of sec x. Then the constant of integration is very important. So answer is ln of y plus ln of sec x equal to c. We can write this in another way also. ln of a plus ln of b is ln of a b. So we, we can write this as ln of y sec x equal to c. So, y sec x is equal to e raised to c. And e raised to c can be written as another constant uh, say k. So, answer will be y sec x equal to k. In this way also you can do the problem. But this much is enough for you get, for getting full marks. Second question. Y dash sin y equal to x square. Which implies dy by dx into sin y equal to x square. That is sin y dy equal to x square dx. Now solution is integral sin x dy equal to integral x square dx plus c. Solution minus cos y equal to x cube by 3 plus c. See the homework. Hope you will come uh, do the homework and submit tomorrow. Submit tomorrow. The third question. Y dash by 1 plus x square equal to x by y provided y equal to 3 when x equal to 1. That means we are we have to get a particular solution for this differential equation at this initial conditions. That is the uh, method of solving this problem. So, we will get a particular solution after getting a general solution. So, 1 by 1 plus x square dy by dx is equal to x by y implies y dy equal to 1 plus x square into x dx. Now, solution means just integrate out. Now it is variable separable. See, we have separated the variables y and x. We see here also we have separated uh, this case. Also, in, in this step we have separated uh, x and y terms with the uh, y and uh, sorry x uh, dx and uh, dy. See. Here m is 1 by, uh, n is 1 by y and here uh, n is tan x. In this case, 
sin y is n and m is and m is x x square now for solving this problem uh, at this stage this stage at this stage we arrive at the stage uh, we arrive at a conclusion that this is a separable equation then we can solve it by integrating out the expression so y square by 2 equal to x square by 2 plus x raised to 4 by 4 plus c now applying initial conditions what is the meaning of this expression y equal to 3 when x equal to 1 so which implies from this equation that 9 by 2 equal to uh, 1 x is 1 1 by 2 plus x raised to 4 by 4 1 by x is 1 1 by 4 equal plus c where c is equal to 15 by 4 thus the solution particular solution is y square by 2 equal to x square by 2 plus x raised to 4 by 4 plus 15 by 4 obtained from this equation now these are the homeworks for tomorrow finding particular solutions here y equal to 4 when x equal to uh, you put 0 okay Thank you.